our daughter has run away after such a cute and funny, cunning episode of pranking Chastiel. She ran away because she probably felt... I'm not sure what's going on in Thor's head right now. Did she get a little bit chastised at the end for pranking too much? Did she just not feel comfortable with Chastiel being in? Also, there was the mention of Raphael, the big swordmaster. Apparently, he was at the site of Thor's parents' death. And it's not really confirm whether or not he killed because multiple things could have happened he could have showed up at the very end after someone killed him right after someone's killed a dragon that could be the case it could also just not be that person but from behind the scenes uh, but from that scene alone the back of his head his stature it kind of seems to match i'd like to think that Raphael is a good person that can think for himself because that's what the anime has shown so far right he seems to be uh, not a, a simple uh, follower of the church and probably doesn't even believe that dragon legend stuff. But if he did, it'd be unfortunate. But I still hope that Thor and, you know, Raphael, they could be some kind of like grandfather, granddaughter kind of type, right? It'd be so cute if he was just like giving her head pads. There was also a different faction of a knight that wants to coexist with sorcerers and the leader is Orobas. And I think that's the main plot points that's been addressed last episode, right? Let's begin today's reaction. あ、とても意外で驚いたけど、正直嬉しかった。Why so what? You're telling me the entire reason Ford decided to leave is because she has someone to kill. I am an Avenger. Where is this? Where is this? Hold up. Hold up. I am an Avenger. I am an Avenger. All right, Sasuke. All right. This so, so Ford is like, I, I, the longer I stay here, the the. The, um, the more I'm gonna lose my Avenger touch, therefore I need to, you know, get the fuck out of here. Alright. <laughs> it's so cute! Because, like, this is supposed to be, like, the evil four, you know, telling the current four, it's like, did you forget about revenge? What about the resolve to kill? But it's like, she's still so cute, even the evil mode. <laughs> This needs to be made into an OVA, some sort of like side story like Slime Diaries. Valifor's Arc Demon Observation Log, just basically translating everything that happened in the diary, man. She gonna leave and then opening's gonna play. You know what? You know what be hilarious? Because you know how I like to bully children. <laughs> Whenever kids trip, I laugh, right? I want to see four fight Raphael. Like straight up. Like in little mode. I want little four to be fighting that big ass man with the sword. And I want Raphael to just whoop her fucking ass, bro. Go for the revenge. Try it. I think it'd be so funny. Of course, parents panic when their daughter runs away from home. And a long ass title. Is this our secret hideout? What is this? Dude, that onesie is too goddamn cute. That little poncho of hers right now. Oh, it's the uh, underground mansion of Marco Sias, right? There's also a golem in there. <laughs> Raphael! <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> Holy shit, it's happening already! that same sword huh so not only was he there not only oh my god i think he's drinking or eating something oh fuck he did drink the blood he did kill the dragon huh that's his sword oh no we're getting more context he's drinking it fuck can he still be grandpa can he still be grandpa after doing all that shit i mean people can change right i don't know No! Be gentle! Zagan! 
Oh, thank God the dad's here. I know in the intro I said that I, I found it funny if the grandpa beat the shit out of the little kid, but it looked like she almost died there. So I was like, oh no, but hey, we can now have her, her dad versus the grandpa now. Oh, yeah. Barbatos. Or... <laughs> Barbatos is literally just used for teleportations. He's public commute now. We just get him. It's like, we need to go somewhere. He's our vehicle. Because we need to correct kids. I'm sorry for running away. Alright. I can just talk through the portal like that. That's nice. Hmm, <laughs> and he's still like, I'm still gonna cut you down. I don't care, I'll kill you and your daughter. I don't know. The look in his eyes, what was that? As he says, hmm, I see it's your daughter, right? Is that a look of... I don't, what is this? Some kind of like nostalgia? It's got solemn eyes, as if he used to have a daughter that he lost, right? Maybe the dragon killed his daughter. How about that, right? That dragon that he was drinking the blood off of? Maybe his daughter got killed by the dragon and then he decided to go off and have revenge. That's like a... That's like an okay reason, right? That's so cruel. It's not yet my time to die after all. As if he knows when he's gonna fucking die. It's not now. Metatron. Bakana. Look at that flaming sword. So like Chastiel can also use a power like this? It looks like Raphael actually activated, like ignited the sword. Like he actually used Shikai here. While Chastiel is just swinging the sword around, right? Okay. Right, we gotta torture them. We can't kill them immediately. Body <laughs> unite! Why isn't it cracking? Ooh, what soundtrack right now, though? That's fucking OP. Yo, the circle looks like an actual shield now, too, huh? It's like double layered, two circles, kind of. Yeah. Heaven scale. Why heaven scale? You would think that an arc demon's power, you know, would be like a hell scale or something. But it's heaven scale. Okay. I mean, it's golden, so I guess heaven, golden. I don't know. Damn! Look at that AOE. <laughs> Can't do nothing to it. We just push him back more and more. Can you summon it again? Oh, you Johnny, can I get a bike? Baratus is right. Hey, dumbass. Quit trying to show off how easy you've got it. He is just kind of experimenting right now. He ain't wrong. Ooh. It's like your daughter like cheering you on while you're on a street fight with another fucking man. Hey, at least my daughter's cheering for me. But he drank dragon blood, and if the legend is true, he should be much stronger, sturdier. If the dragon legend is true. Castillo. Jump in the portal. バルバロス様がザガン様を掘るのもとへ連れて行ってくださいました。ザガン様は何者かに襲われた掘るを守ってた高いに。私も行かなくては。I then side with us. Yes, join our family. Be selfish. 
Wow, she obeys. Because she has Zagan. I don't know if she's going to be able to get her 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 to But there's a faction that works with sorcerers. Come on, you can join. Protect those you love. Aww. This is actually such a good scene for Chastiel, man. She has been kind of relegated for like comedic relief quite often. And she has been like the butt of the jokes at times. That's probably one of her best moments though. シャステレさんは本当は少しだけ嫉妬したんです。ザガン様のことを分かっ <gasps> Power friendship, guys. One time I agree. Power friendship. Alright. Nebby was great. Just fucking pure talk no jutsu therapy session. Consoling. She got her motive back. Let's go. She's gonna like ignite her blade. Raphael's pretty much almost done though. <laughs> Power of the church, the swords, or is that dragon shit? From drinking the blood, huh? I mean, fuck. I mean, listen, if you can actually do that, like, I kind of want to do it too. <laughs> how, how is Thor gonna punish the grandpa? It's gonna be the cutest thing ever, right? What is she gonna go? Go to him and be like, eh, Stop it! Bad! What is she gonna do? I, I, I don't know. Is she gonna prank him? <laughs> What's your backstory? Whoa! Plot. Name of Thor's dad. The Sage Dragon Orobas, which is the same name as the main dude who is leading that faction of church people who allies with sorcerers. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on? That's another thing. Maybe the dragon was already dead, right? I don't know. Maybe back in his prime, he could have taken it out. But it's looking like he probably didn't kill it. He just happened to be there at the very end. Maybe the person Orobas that's leading that group of, you know, sorcerers and, you know, church people alliance. That person is the one that killed the dragon and took on the name. While he just happened to show up at the scene. And for some reason, I don't know, it's just the blame is on him. Okay. He must have been brought to a trap. And then he was already dead. That's so sad, man. I know that's Raphael's sword. I know that's Raphael's sword. It, it is him, right? It, it, it's still kind of... I don't know, the face is all dark. It, it is him, that's his sword. Unless this is actually Orobas. Well, no, 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 we know. We know Raphael can heal himself. That is the properties of the dragon. That is him, right? <laughs> I still refuse to believe Raphael did it. <laughs> Allow me to finish it so that you can meet your father in hell. He wouldn't do that, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you, you, you. I, I was just joking. I was just joking. Why are you, why are you sending off her to meet the dead? Okay, Orobas must be super evil. 
evil. I was just joking because I thought that would never happen and it was like a misunderstanding and he never fucking did this shit when he was like, all right, I'll fucking send you to hell myself. <laughs> oh Lord, what's going on? Zagan is so strong. Why is Orobas evil to him? Oh shit, she got a Kamehameha! What was that rock? Something activate. <gasps> oh, the fucking hero arrives late. Chastil coming in hot. Thank you, Rabatoast. Oh, that's how she did it. She deflected force attack and then countered. あなたの居場所に土足で踏み入ったのは私の方だ。できないだろうか。オッケー。ま、お前もそろそろ会話くらい応じてやれ。ボーズでもプリマスだ。死の命などどうでもいいが、気に入らない。俺チャスティルオス
Is he actually the dead? He took on the name Autobus. Is he actually the dragon dead? No, that's that's crazy. What what the fuck kind of theory is that? <gasps> are you not? Are you you're gonna actually end the episode like this? Fuck you. Fuck. That's that's the episode, man. Fucking Christ, bro. <laughs> fucking Christ. We'll we'll get his backstory next episode. But today's episode was pretty fucking peak, man. Action packed. The reason for left was not because of Chad Steele or something, because that she felt like she was getting softer. The longer she stayed here with Nethi and Zagan, the more that she feels like the revenge is slipping away. And she ain't no pussy. She is an Avenger. And that's why she left. And they went to here, and then it seems like Raphael also kind of told us like a new technique with the swords. Apparently, this is something that's available to true wielders of the sword. Maybe not the identical ability, but I'm sure Chas Steel also has some kind of different form of the sword like this. So I like to see that in the future. Brabatos is funny that he's just a fucking, you know, public transport. Uh, uh, what, what's the word? Public uh, transport now. Nephi and Chas Steel have some great scenes. Some people not, not, probably didn't really appreciate these scenes because they're just fucking yapping and people want to get back to the fight, but heart to heart moment from both Nephi and Chastiel. That was actually a great moment for them. Looks like Chastiel steal the resolve and she's ready to, you know, I don't know, maybe side with us. Now, I was so fucked in the head with how this backstory is happening with Raphael and Orobus because it's like, all right, he seems to be there, but did he actually kill the dragon? We don't really know still, but the sword is implanted on the dragon at the very end when we see it, and he's drinking the blood. So he must have, you know, had some part in the slaying of Autobus. Why did Raphael, you know, ask for it? Maybe, here's another thing. Maybe Autobus wanted to die. Maybe, for some reason, Autobus, you know, invited the, uh, the, the Holy Knights to, like, kill himself due to some kind of weird reason. That could be another option in why Raphael was there at the end and drinking the blood. I'm not really sure. Either the church deceived him, which is most likely, or maybe Autobus had his own intentions. I'm not really sure. He didn't tell Four, though. That kind of sucks. And then the golem stuff, a golem, you know, uh, made after a demon. That's still so interesting. The whole demons, you know, the netherworld kind of exists here and you listen to Zagan. And then the fucking backstory that never happened. We're going to get that next episode and it's probably going to be a tearjerker. And it's probably not Raphael's fault, right? But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.